I'm at a gypsy. Long, like, okay, so we'll talk about the stretching stuff. I'm fucking obsessed with stretching. It's like a big thing. I broke my hip last year. So, Damn. like, yeah, it was, like, gnarly. I did, like, a degloving injury as well. So, like, the whole left-hand side of my back to, like, just under my ass cheek was... It's still just, like, scar tissue, nerve damage. Like, it was fucking gnarly. But um, wow. stretching got me through that. And now I'm more flexible than I was before I had my injury. Um, and it's something that if I'm a heretic for anything on this podcast, it's reading and stretching. That's, but, um, they'll carry you a long way. Yeah, I'm just like, you know what? Come at me if you don't fucking like it. I feel like they're good for you. So <laughs> I'm good. No, nah, no, nah, there's like, you're, you're not going to, yeah, there's nothing wrong with those ever. So you've got an extreme level of mobility and flexibility. <laughs> um, where, yeah. where was your starting point? I, um, on that India trip, I was in Rishikesh of all places, the home of yoga, as they say. And me and a mate were like, let's try out yoga. Like, this will be cool. Um, and then I just, it was real chill. Like what, like you'd have in a grandma kind of yoga gym class in the Goldie. And I was, I was like, I feel really good. And I was like, I, play, I mainly played AFL growing up in like yeah. Darwin in high school. And so like, I was not a flexible dude. Like, yeah. So flex you weren't nah, super flexible. No, nah, okay. I'm not born like hypermobile. Same as any other guy, yeah, probably okay. less so. Like, and then I go, okay, this is cool. I'll remember this. And I come back to where my parents are in Townsville. And shout out to Alison Dealing. She kicked off. She's like my yoga mum. Started off the journey in her studio in Townsville, and I did like a month intro to Ashtanga yoga. And I went, "This is and so." What's epic. Ashtanga as opposed to like? I'm yeah, definitely not well versed. No, in no, you wouldn't practices. expect you to. It's like man, there's too many now. But like yoga's yoga in the sense that it's a path that's there to still your mind. It was originally just about meditation, and then like a couple of thousand years ago, they added on poses, and then now there's different pose schools. So Ashtanga yoga, put simply, is a way as a physical form of yoga is like more dynamic each pose is held for about five breaths five to eight breaths yeah and it's and it's it's one of the original ones that came to the west so when you go to like a vinyasa class or power vinyasa class yeah this was like the original yeah the, there's yeah. like a lineage and yeah it's like yeah. classical which then gets to jazz and then we get rock and yeah it's like different yeah. flavors but it's all cool yeah it's yeah. similar to that and whereas where but the focus with this is like it's still meditative there's lots of spiritualities to it even though that word is annoying so it's like it's dynamic it's strength based it engaged me as a guy because it was like here's one thing that's nearly got it all like it's there's strength yeah. physical prowess meditative focus deeper meaning and purpose to like wake up work through stuff because there's breathing work throughout the whole movement sequence that like a like high powers uh an, an inner awareness because yeah. if you take this into meditation as like a lot of ashtanga teachers talk about it's like you've got you've just plant you set up a veggie plot in like volcanic soil like it's ready to yeah, go yeah yeah and you can plant whatever you want in there you can plant and it's gonna grow yeah it, you can plant an egoic self you can plant a desire to get more out of like meditated practice to wake up whatever and it'll work uh so it's a tool and anyway i, I do the intro course um, you know, like that pose where your feet are together. It's kind of like cobbler's pose or bound angle, they call it. Yeah. My knees are up near my ears. Yeah, my hips yeah. hurt. I moved to Melbourne to do an economics degree, which only like I tried for six months. And they, um, I'd start with this, with Ashtanga Yoga Center in Melbourne, go to classes there regularly. And it just opens up. My bo Luckily, I think, because I was... Um, um, I don't have the best attention span early on still sometime nowadays which is probably why i sit i got results fairly quickly enough i think it's probably because it was all i was doing apart from riding my bike to and from melbourne around melbourne so everything opens up i feel great and then how long kinda... did it take you to like and when you say it opens up like oh my hips a bit yeah and so like how long was that and like what was the process that you felt like because i think that's one of the things that um like i probably feel like i'm having just starting to have some like real good results where like mm. it's almost like a curve you know like you're going like this and then it slowly you know yep. it slowly starts to ramp up and then you like there's a almost like a patch where it, it's it's like it takes longer than you expect to get any kind of results but then once you do it's you actually get results fairly quickly so like how long was that for you uh pretty quick given the knowledge I now have on flexibility training uh, overall, whether it's within yoga or just outside of it. 
about three to six months, I'd say. I started to see stuff pretty soon, but it was because of the frequency. So I was doing Ashtanga. When you get into it, they're like, all right, at least do this every morning to some extent. The sequence is the same. It builds on. It gets more and more complex. There's progressive series. That's part of third series. It looks kooky uh, and you get that. But earlier on, I was doing at least two times a week. And so that was enough to start to see change. And then I started to add on more and more and more and it and it like you know four or five times a week and then i really started to notice it and that's the thing now like one bloke you'd probably really dig to follow on instagram that i now learned from uh dan daniel van zant he's a go follow that motherfucker flexibility dot research on instagram if you go to instagram he um he is a legend what is it so just flexibility dot research it should be that's him done dan van zant that dude needs to be more popular um follow him for us right physics nerd like he'll be right up your alley from he's from england yeah right um just an absolute brainiac runs a flexibility trainer course with like all the research behind it um has made me stop using the word mobility because apparently that doesn't describe (laughs) flexibility but he's that that's just like a petty thing yeah but um yeah he talks about like what's needed like the frequency of it where it's useful what it does for you and um any super science based so like a lot of this stuff um frequency matters so unlike strength training where you can get away with like one or two sessions a week and and then it builds after yeah yeah yeah. you can get most of your gains most of this stuff it's it's like brushing your teeth you kind of want to do little bits of it every day Mm. um and it all depends on what your goal is like yoga obviously has multifaceted goals in one thing whereas stretching of its own to improve range of motion that's different and so Mm. And the cool thing I've realized now in like a physio physical sense is that different bodies respond to different things, like different types of flexibility training. So a lot of my mates, like stiffer blokes that don't like yoga in like the movement calisthenics world will like, like, especially like Benny will get flexible from weighted flexibility work, like doing Jefferson curls or, um, you know, like a pigeon forward fold, but with weights on your back or something like that. And so there's different types of flexibility training that suit different people. If you enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe. And to listen to the full three-hour podcast, search Gypsy Tales in your favorite podcast platform or click the link in the description below. Gypsy Gang.